The Prince and Princess of Wales were joined by the new Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh as King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla attended their first Commonwealth Day service of their reign. The King is expected to deliver a message marking the occasion from the Great Pulpit in Westminster Abbey, and will no doubt, pay tribute to his late mother, Queen Elizabeth II. The King conferred the Dukedom of Edinburgh on Prince Edward on his 59th birthday on Friday, and Edward and Sophie also made their public debut with their new titles, as they thanked the Scottish people for their generosity to Ukrainian refugees. Meanwhile, the couple's son, James, Viscount Severn is now the Earl of Wessex. Duchess Sophie looked elegant in cream as she and Edward arrived at the Westminster Abbey service. The Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence also joined the other senior royals in the procession. The windy conditions meant the royal ladies had to hold on to their hats. Kate looked elegant in a navy and white floral printed peplum style two-piece from Erdem. She accessorized with a wide brim hat and her diamond and sapphire earrings. Charles is now head of the Commonwealth, following in the late Queen's footsteps after she successfully lobbied for him to take on the role. A Commonwealth flag for peace was carried in the procession of Commonwealth members' flags to mark 2023 as Commonwealth Year of Peace. The service included musical performances from saxophonist Yolanda Brown, West End stars Rashani Abbey and Nuwan Hugh Pereira, and the all-female amalgamation choir, from Cyprus. Guests of honor among the 2,000-strong congregation included the Commonwealth Secretary-General, the Prime Minister of Samoa, High Commissioners, senior politicians and dignitaries from across the UK and the Commonwealth. Also in attendance were athletes from the home nations who competed at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham last summer, as well as faith leaders, and more than 750 schoolchildren and young people from throughout the UK. Afterwards, Charles, Camilla and the attending members of the royal family will entertain the Commonwealth Secretary-General, High Commissioners, foreign affairs ministers and other members of the Commonwealth community at a Buckingham Palace reception.